Hi everyone. Today, we're going to explore some important concepts in chemistry, elements, compounds, and mixtures. These are the building blocks of everything around us. Let's dive in and learn what makes each of them unique. Part 1. Elements. What is an element? An element is a substance that consists of only one type of atom. This means all the atoms in an element are the same. For example, Gold is an element. Whether it's a gold ring or a gold coin, it's made entirely of gold atoms. Fun fact, there are 118 elements that have been discovered so far. 98 of these are found naturally on Earth, and 20 have been created by scientists in laboratories. Characteristics of elements. Let's talk about some characteristics of elements. 1. Same properties. The atoms of an element have the same properties as the element itself. For example, every atom of gold has the same properties as a gold bar. 2. Cannot be broken down. Elements cannot be broken down into simpler substances by physical or chemical methods. Gold will always be gold unless you combine it with something else. Classification of elements. Elements are classified into four main categories. 1. Metals. Metals are solid at room temperature, shiny, and can be shaped easily. For example, iron is used to make things like tools and structures because it's strong and durable. 2. Nonmetals. Nonmetals can be solid or gas at room temperature. For example, oxygen is a nonmetal, and it's what we breathe in every day. 3. Metalloids. Metalloids have properties of both metals and nonmetals. Silicon, found in electronics, is a good example. 4. Noble gases. These elements don't react with others easily. Helium is a noble gas, and it's what fills balloons to make them float. Part 2. Compounds. What is a compound? A compound is a substance formed when two or more elements combine chemically in a fixed ratio. For example, water, H2O, is a compound made from hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Characteristics of compounds. Here are some key characteristics of compounds. 1. Pure substances. Compounds are pure substances because they are made up of only one type of molecule. 2. Different properties. The properties of a compound are different from the properties of the elements that form it. For example, hydrogen and oxygen are both gases, but when they combine, they form water, a liquid. 3. Same properties in molecules. Each molecule of a compound has the same properties as the compound itself. Every drop of water behaves the same. 4 can be broken down. Compounds can be separated into their individual elements, but only through chemical methods, like how water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen with electricity. Chemical formulas. The composition of a compound is shown using a chemical formula. For example, CH4 is the chemical formula for methane, showing one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. Part 3. Mixtures. What is a mixture? A mixture is a combination of two or more different substances mixed together without a chemical change. For example, salt water is a mixture. You can mix salt and water together, but they don't chemically combine into something new. Characteristics of mixtures. Let's look at the characteristics of mixtures. 1. No new properties. A mixture doesn't have its own special properties. The properties are just the sum of its parts. 2. No fixed ratio. The components of a mixture can be present in any ratio. You can add more or less salt to water depending on your taste. 3. Can be separated easily. The components of a mixture can be separated using physical methods. For example, you can evaporate the water to get the salt back. Summary. So, to wrap it up, elements are pure substances made of one type of atom. Compounds are pure substances formed by the chemical combination of elements. Mixtures are combinations of substances where no chemical reaction occurs. Each of these plays a vital role in the world around us, from the air we breathe to the water we drink. Closing, isn't it amazing how understanding elements, compounds, and mixtures helps us make sense of the world? Chemistry is all around us, in the air, the water, and even in our bodies. Thanks for joining me today, and I can't wait to explore more with you next time.